everyone, it's Christina, and I just wanted to go ahead and get this album finished right quick. So, here's where we left off. I needed to add these pictures to this right here. I refilled my ATT gun. Hmm. Well, I did a really good job tightening it, though. Okay. Some point during the day when we were at the zoo, I guess he had to have his shirt changed. Which wasn't unusual for my little boy. Let's see. Let's get a different one. We'll put Brianna right there. Her um, board. I don't like my picture being taken. I hate crowds. I hate being at the zoo. Look. my sweet little boy who is actually being sweet for this picture. Right here. Okay. Now that I put post pictures and all that. Now all that's done. Okay, now we can go to this side. Get the nine by seven done first. Okay, I have two different mats. So I'm gonna put the zebras here. And on this one, I'm just going to put two photos. cover up those giraffes. They're not zebras. Alright, that side's done. We're going to flip over. And this side is going to have two horizontal belly bands. Okay, and of course remember that your matting for your pages is a quarter inch on both sides, 
smaller. So when you cut it, instead of cutting this at nine and seven, nine by seven, I cut it at eight and three quarter by six and three quarter. And then I cut my belly bands at seven and three quarter. I think I did two, yeah, two inches. And then I scored at a half inch on each end of the long piece. And that gives you your six by six and three quarters. Okay. Now this one is going to go the same size. So you need two at seven and three quarters by two and three by two. And I'm going to put this one down here. I didn't want to stack them. I don't, I'm not good at getting them positioned right when I stack them. And I am going to add one magnet to the top one. And again, I'm using the basic gray magnets that you can get at Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. Any of the admins should be able to help you find it. If not, ask for me, Christina, Phoebe, and tag me so I know. Uh oh. I stuck my finger instead of. Okay, now. I'm going to mat these with these two right here. So I think I want that one on the top, and then this one. And these are cut out at six and a half by one and three quarter. Okay, look at that. Now my mats. And these are, let's see, the big one is six and a half by eight and a half. And the smaller one is six by eight. I don't think two of those are going to fit. Oh, they do fit. Okay. Ah, that taping wasn't a good job, was it? That happens with your ATD tape. Just run your finger over it. It'll pull it right off. Here, doing the same thing with that one. Let me grab two pictures. Let's see what two do I want. Ooh, Steven and the gorilla. of the girl. 
mozzarella underneath. I think it'll be good. Mr. Grumpy Pants right there. I'm just going to do the same thing on the back of this one. Two mats. Get my stuff out of the way. My trash. And me and mommy right there by where the orangutans were. Or him and mommy. Not me and mommy. Down a little crooked. Okay, there is our little mat right there. Let's see, I am going to need another magnet, aren't I? Now this mat, it is going to have one and two, but it will have room for something in between. Maybe the blue loop-de-loop -loop thing. Or maybe not. No, because that is blue. That will not work. Well, let's get this down first and we'll put the green, I guess.
now that don't fit. Hmm. All right. And put a journaling spot there. Him and his Aunt Kathy, him and his girls. Let's see, I think I'm going to put these two on the same page. I'll put him and his girls on this page. and his girls in a place for journaling on the back. Need two. it right there and grab one of these put it right here with this one of him peeking over always wanted to climb stuff when he was little. Now you couldn't get him to climb nothing, but when he was little, he was a little daredevil. He'd climb everything. Okay, now that one's done. So we have this one. That goes under bows. And then this one that goes there. See lots of places for pictures of this little album. Okay, now I have this page in the back to do. Okay, now this is the one that I messed up, so I need to show y'all what I did. I had taped the wrong sides, so I just cut the bottom off, and I'm just going to attach this under here. before I lay it down. Okay, and that's going to be a tight fit. Let me see. 
breathe I need. It's four tape. No, I didn't put pictures on that side. So I do that. Okay, so get this stuff out of the way for a minute. Just so y'all can see me. So I just tucked the pocket underneath my matting. because I had taped it the wrong direction, wasn't paying attention to the way that the pockets needed to cross. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this little bit because I know side of this one. Wait, I don't know. Let me see. Didn't I have a sheet that I ended up not using because it was cut wrong? Yeah, I know. That's not it. Look, there's the elephant. So I'm going to put this in the same direction and then I'm going to go ahead and get my cut. where I cut it and straighten it up with my cutter. these handy dandy little inking things too. They're by Tim Holtz through the boutique with the new it's about time for me to change out my little pad thing on it. I'm rough on them. Okay, 
we're going to put this down before we decide where the other pocket's going to go. How it's going to lay on top of it. I'm going to be sure and leave our spacing right there. And then this, of course, is done the correct way. should have brought it down a little bit. I may have to cut my matting back. But we'll see. Okay, and this is just going to line up. You want it to line up where it makes sure you don't see where the paper was too short with the elephants. And it left me down here, but I'm okay with that. Okay, put my lions. Now, let's see, we may have to cut back some of our what is going on right there. I was trying to get under the I know there is nothing glued down except for the edge of this pocket. There. Yep, I'm going to have to cut this down. Let's see about this one. Why are you trying to get under the... Being stubborn. Oh, I see. This one's going to have to go thinner. I see, I see, I see. Because it didn't connect onto this, it went above it, it's holding that down, and it won't go under that bottom one. So, let's just do some adjusting. See, I have to fix stuff all the time. If you follow me, you know. You know. Get some of this stuff out from under it. Alright, this needs to cut back to. Let's see, what is it now? It's eight and a half. Let's go down to seven and a half. And then it needs to be thinner by a half inch. So what is it now? Five and a half. Let's go to five. Okay. And then this is going to have to be adjusted. No. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. where we had to do some adjusting. Any of you people that are new watching my video, hello. But I am going to show you my mistakes. I don't edit them out. Y'all see this as I'm making it. I don't talk over my videos. I don't edit. So you get the mistakes and everything. 
it thinks it is important for people to know that crafters make mistakes too. It's just fixing it. Or it becomes a different project. I've done that too. Started out to make it one way and it ended up being totally different. Alright, so now I got my mats ready. Let's make sure this one's going to for sure go down in there easy. Oh yeah, much better. Well, shoot, I don't guess an inch was enough. I mean... Should be. It's catching on the clothes flap down there. Well, I'm going to have to cut this down again. Let me see here. I just want to take a half inch off. Before I put this up, I'm going to make sure that is going to work. Oh yeah, much better. Okay. So, let me give you all the new measurements on this piece. This piece is going to be 7 by 5. that on here. under it. Let's see, I know I had another picture that was upright. I, mean, I thought I did. I may be in trouble. Ah, oh, there's one. I want it worked out perfect because he's sitting on the elephant. Statue, how cool is that? Every year we go, I've made him, or not made, he likes to climb on it anyway, or did, sit on the elephant statue for his picture to be made. I like that. Okay, now, that one can't go that way. I don't know what we're going to do with that. can't even get my animals straight today. Okay. Let go. Let's put this one of the girls. Let me see. Brianna, she looks so thrilled. That's a good one of them right there. 
Brianna went through a stage for years where she did not smile for pictures. If you wanted to take her picture, she would make funny faces. She would just look deadpan at you. Just, you just about had to sneak up on the girl. And that was none of these three kids, except for that one little, they were all three hams if a camera came out. Okay, let me see what stickers I've got. I'll put this one right there. Let's see. Tigers under it, going out like that, and then let's do polar no peacocks. I don't think we have any polar bears at our zoo. I don't think polar bears would like Texas. You know what? We did have one one time with the penguins, but I don't know if we still have them or not. So let's do next let's do. There, that'll be good. I like that. All right. Now, let's decide on the back what we're going to do. Let's see, most of the rest of these are pictures of animals. I would like to include. Okay, let's put Steven back here. No, that won't fit. The brown wood one might, though. I now just have to decide what I'm going to do here. Let me see. Yeah, no way. So I can put that there.
Oops. I don't know. That side's awful cute. Yep. I'm just going to put that side up so you can see the little penguin. Okay, put two pictures there. Oh, my picture's right there, so let's put this and the elephant, the baby elephant. Alrighty, look at that. Now, what to put there? And I used almost all of my photos. journaling maybe right there. Wind is picking up. I don't know if y'all could hear it, it just blew the door shut. I'm going to look at my writing on the back. Let's see. Let's put that one and an elephant. That'll work good. Right there. journal that. Okay. Now we just have the very back page and this page. So this is going to be my title page right here. Almost done, people. Almost done with this album. Those 
um, die cuts would really come in handy to fill in. I have this from Echo Park. I just don't know if I want to use any of this. The colors are really close. Not dead on, but close. Underneath that, I could do the. Oh, yeah, okay. I want this to hold up good, so I'm gonna have to glue my things down. I never, hardly ever trust stickers to stay, especially not chipboard ones. table home. So I'll just use some score tape this go round. I'm going to start with Crazy Monkey. Offset it just a little because I kind of like that. Then Adventure. boy page. The girls are in this page too. Oh, this album? I don't know. No, I don't like that. Doesn't look right on that paper. Maybe just these might. Hmm. 
kind of gets lost. But it's going there anyway. No, it's not. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put the Born to be Wild. And then under that, I think I'll put Just Be Brave. Okay. That'll work. in the background, huh? Oh, I like that. Okay. So then... Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. Oh, gee. What did I do? I did it on the wrong page. Look at that. Oh, how am I going to fix that? Because that's my front. Alright, where is my undo? See, I was trying to rush and I messed up what happens when I try to rush through stuff. I'm not sure what I did with my undo. We all know undo could fix this, though. So. I thought I put it right here in my tidy pool. I'm just going to go to the back, and this will get fixed, and I'll just have to show y'all how. Anyway, that should be the front right there. And I will undo this, and undo this, and then swap them. And that will fix it. All right, let's get this back page on. do a short video doing a walkthrough of the whole thing so y'all can see that I did fix it with the undo when I find the undo or I go to town and buy some more undo my orange ribbon. I wanted to use my orange, thin orange ribbon on this, but I have not been able to find it. So, let's see what color this is. So we're just going to end up using black. I like to cut off to make sure I have plenty. Right 
there. Put this down over it. And this is cut a little smaller than what it needs to be because I just wanted the picture. I didn't want any of the pieces that were out of it. And that's going to be my back. That'll be the back. And then, of course, it'll come around front and tie. But this will be this will be my front right here. So, when I get it fixed. And then I'm just going to have a tie and a bow. So I do a lot of my closures. They're simple and fast and usually pretty cool. All right. Thank y'all. And I will show y'all when I get it fixed how I fixed it. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day.